Two-Tone Wolfpack is my guest in the studio. Their new record, Crooked Medicine, gets a CD release show at the Leon Gallery on Saturday. I understand there's coffee and beer involved, so we'll get to that and more. But first, let me welcome you back to the studio. Hello. Thanks for having us. Hey. And what would you like to start us off with? We're going to start with a new song. This one's called Pine Box. I've been waking up from dreams How one of these days This whole thing will end This whole thing will end I'm not yet sure About what I think Make it through the flame. We'll make it through the flame. I've been singing. Lord, don't bring that pine box. Lord, don't bring that pine box to me. Lord, don't bring that pine box. Lord, don't bring that. FM open air. It is Two Tone Wolfpack in the studio. The new record, Crooked Medicine, uh, comes out Saturday with a release show at Leon Gallery, right in the heart of Capitol Hill. Good to have you guys back. One of the things uh, a lot of Denver bands say when they come to the studio, what they like about the scene is the collaborative nature. Whether it's uh, bands having other bands play their shows or playing on each other's records, you guys have kind of taken it a step further, and you have created with a couple of local brewers, uh, one of coffee, one of beer. Uh, what was the idea behind that? Well, we there's there's a couple things. One, the record is called Crooked Medicine, and it's this 
it's us exploring this idea, or me through songwriting, uh, this idea that nothing is inherently bad or good, but all things in our life, all of these vices can be used for good and bad. And like beer is a great example of something that can be something that brings camaraderie and community and you can build around it or you can abuse it. And uh, uh, frankly, just about anything can be used in that way and that's, that's kind of what our record's about. And so in thinking about that, our music has always been about our community, uh, an expression of our lives within our community. Part of the reason we don't tour a lot is because we feel the effects of the downsides to touring and being gone from your community. And our music, our passion comes from our community and this is an outlet for that. And so in thinking about those things, we reached out to some of our friends at Huckleberry Roasters and Black Shirt Brewing and we said, hey, do you wanna do this? Do you wanna do something together? We wanna do, we wanna have an event. We don't wanna just have another show like all the other shows, but we want something that people are gonna go, this is awesome. And so uh, <clears throat> when you purchase a ticket to come to our show, on Saturday, uh, you get entry, you get a copy of our record, um, and then you have your option of either a custom two-tone Wolfpack cup of coffee or a two-tone Wolfpack beer from Black Shirt Brewing. And then for the week and a half following, um, the only place to get our record will be by going to Huckleberry and buying a pound of our coffee and getting our record with it, or by going to Black Shirt Brewing and buying some of our beer and getting our record with it. I think that is a, a, a great idea. And if you're just tuning in, Two-Tone Wolfpack in the CPR Performance Studio. We were joking a little bit before we officially got started. You know, what is it that you guys do? Uh, Americana is a really wildly broad term, but I think you guys said post-Americana. I think Dave said something along the lines of uh, emo folk, uh, swamp stop. My personal favorite was the one I came up with. Imagine Tom Waits if he joined the band. Now, I know this is a little loaded question, but does the coffee and or the beer taste like the band? Well, we would, <laughs> I don't know. Can you taste with your ears? I don't know. Uh, well, is it a good represent? I mean, well, tell, did you have much input on what it was going to taste like? Well, <clears throat> I think inherently those coffee roasters, those friends of ours, Mark mm -hmm. and Cohen, the guys at Black Shirt Brewing, they're a part of our community. And inevitably, our art and their art are going to affect one another. Mm -hmm. And I think um, being with those guys, hanging out early in the morning at Huckleberry and late at night at Black Shirt Brewing, like I, we've talked a lot about it enjoyed a lot of beers together, a lot of coffees together, and I think inherently it's just we affect one another. Have you have you tasted it yet, the beer and the coffee? Oh, man, they're both so good. <laughs> that beer is so good. <laughs> well, th well, then I suggest Saturday night you have both because I like to have both. Oh, so. totally. <laughs> Two-Tone Wolfpack in the CPR Performance Studio, I'm going to ask you to do a couple of songs back-to-back. -back. What is the first song? We're going to play a song for you called River Jordan. It's on our, e our record coming out in a couple days. When death comes, I don't know. I wanna run a mill. When death comes, I don't know. I wanna run a mill. When death comes, I don't know. I wanna run a mill. When death comes, I don't know. I wanna run a mill. When 
Celebrating the local scene, 102.3 FM, open air. It is Two-Tone Wolfpack in the CPR Performance Studio. Really good to have you guys back in. It's been too long. <laughs> and it's been a while. 
The new record is Crooked Medicine, and they celebrate with a show at Leon Gallery Saturday night. Uh, buy a ticket, get the get the record, and get some two-tone Wolfpack beer and or coffee. I suggest both. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you.